Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and assalamu alaikum wherever you are in the world. Greetings from Manchester and happy Easter Sunday to all of those of you who are celebrating Easter. Welcome to Muslim Arts and Culture Festival 2021. We are delighted to welcome you all to the launch of our very first MACFest International Festival. A very warm welcome to our distinguished guests from Azerbaijan, UK and the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, greeting you from Azerbaijan, the land of fire, and now view of Kazakh region from Azerbaijan. Welcome to the Kazakh region of Azerbaijan. This is a place where world famous people live. Kazakh is one of the oldest and most beautiful cities in the world. You will fall in love with its history, culture and cuisine. The Kazakh district was established on August 8, 1930. We are having a trip to History Ethnography Museum to learn what Kazakh was like in ancient times. There are 112 cultural and architectural monuments in Kazakh. Three of them are globally important and are included in UNESCO's Tangible Cultural Heritage List. The first of them is the section belonging to Damjala Cave Camp which is exhibited in the ancient Stone Age section of the museum. Samples of tangible culture that were found in Tamjali are exhibited in this section. Various tangible cultural samples about the activities, lifestyles and belief of our ancestors were found. Men's rifles, swords and daggers were hung on the wall. It was used as a decorative accessory. It's an example of our national chest. This gramophone was used towards the end of the 18th century. We had national household items, thrones, chests and others. What about getting to know one of the famous people of Kazakh? He is recognized in some countries around the world including England, that person is Samad Vurgun, Azerbaijani poet, playwright, the first people's poet of Azerbaijan. The poet traveled to London in 1947 with prominent literary and cultural figures. There are statues of him in Kazakh and other parts of Azerbaijan. Now, what about a trip to Goyazan mountain? One of the must-see places in Kazakh, Goyazan, an extrusive dome in the foothills of the Lesser Caucasus. It was formed on the site of an erupting volcano during the Cretaceous. Its height is 250 meters and its diameter is more than 130 meters. It looks like a magnificent column buried in the plain. It's located in the Kazakh region of Azerbaijan. It's beautiful, isn't it? There is a special dish in Kazakh. It's called Hingal. It's one of the most delicious food eaten by people, especially in winter. Don't forget to taste Hingal when you come here. That's all. Now video presentation, Ruslan Ibrahimli, who wants uh, to pass his wishes. Please look, play this uh, video. Hello everyone, my name is Ruslan Ibrahimli. I live in Kazakh or Azerbaijan. I am a filmmaker. Kazakh is a very beautiful place to visit. There are many places that we couldn't film to show due to their limited time. I wouldn't take your time and I want to say my gratefulness and wish good luck to everyone. 
who watches us today. Thank you, Ruslan Ibrahim, for your commitment to organizing this event for your filming. And uh, now I want to pass floor to Ayaz Karimov uh, from University of Tartu. Ayaz, are you here? Yes, yes, I am here. Uh, so my name is Ayaz, and I uh, first of all, I would like to uh, convey my uh, thankfulness to Leila and the organizer of the, the, this festival and why I am here. So let's start from this. So I am from Gaza, actually. I was born and uh, grown up there. So, and I just made one presentation. And uh, while making this presentation, I was just trying to be, uh, trying to put the some points or the places that actually, uh, maybe they are not that much famous even in our history book. So I just made the, uh, like the few points about uh, Gaza. So basically, I would like to start that actually the, we mainly talked about the Kazakh, but actually uh, there is one city that actually I used to live. It's called like the Astafa. And uh, uh, this region, the Astafa, was part of the Kazakh. So that's why today I will, I will be showing some uh, historical places from Astafa as well. And uh, uh, basically, I just want to show the, the two monasteries mainly. The first one is from Kazakh, which is called like... Uh, called like Away Monastery. Actually, that's the uh, that's the place that actually in the previous uh, video, it, it was mentioned that actually there is a cave called like the Damjali and it's it's accepted one of the first uh, places that actually people start to live in Azerbaijan. And uh, this Damjali cave is a part of these uh, Away Mountains. And uh, this monastery is located exactly in the, in those mountains. It uh, it was founded in the fifth century, and it's monastery. So it means that actually uh, it includes the two churches, castle walls, and uh, the some worship rooms as well. And uh, uh, yeah, now, uh, if, if you want to go to the, the Away Monastery, now it's quite open to visit currently. And it's uh, the Away Monastery is located with the borderland uh, in the borderland with Armenia. And that's the second place that actually I want to talk. It's it's called like the Keshik Zedar Monastery Complex. Uh, basically, the how it is also located in the borderland, but it is the borderland with the Georgia, and it is located in Astafa, the, the regions that actually I mentioned, uh, I mentioned previously. And it was founded in the sixth century. And uh, I, I don't want to like the name all the places actually it includes uh, entire the monster, but they are the main places. Um, and uh, why I put this like the the in addition to mentioning some historical monuments, I also want to mention the place that actually which was the reason that the, the people start to live in the Kazakh and the Astafa. So this place it is the basically now it is the water reservoir, but uh, it used to be the river. So that was the first reason that actually the people start to live in Kazakh and they just moved from the mountains and the, it was uh, it is considered one of the first uh the places uh and um the second one is the it is also popular uh maybe it, it's not mentioned in, in our history books again or maybe in the geography ones but uh this place is uh it is uh, it it is called like the burning water and that, that that's that's the first that's also one of the uh, first places actually the first people start to live in Astafa and it's also uh, is for some people it's also uh, it's believed that actually it's a sacred place and uh, I just put this map here and uh, if it is possible we can also share the. Uh, the, this map. In this map, actually, you can find the, all the places that you can visit uh, in our, let's say, tiny, small uh, uh, region. Uh, thanks again. So I will just stop the sharing. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Ayas, for your presentation. And we had a Ruslan Ibrahim Lee, uh, also a filmmaker. We're very lucky to have you all speaking to us here. And we had uh, Ayaz Karimov from the University of Tartu. And my heartfelt thanks for all your wonderful contributions. And before I go, I must not forget the MacFest team who've done everything in the background and enabled this to happen with your wonderful technical people over there in Azerbaijan as well. Thank you once again, everybody, and goodbye wherever you are. And assalamu alaikum.